Welcome to G Shot Outdoors. So, you finally got your hands on a VRPF 14, or you just want to know exactly what you're doing before you decide to take it apart. Well, this is the video for you. First, I just want to admire this case that the new VRPF 14 comes in. When you first open the case, this is what you will see. You've got your pistol grip, pump action, 14.1 inch barrel, VR PF14. This thing's pretty sweet. You've got one five round magazine in this bag. There is a manual and your rear sight. Now that can be mounted on if you so desire, or if you decide to put some type of red dot or something like that on here that fits on the standard quell tail you could do that as well i'm going to put this on there i really like that it's got the picatinny rail so then you can just mount flashlights lasers red dots whatever up here now to disassemble of course before ever disassembling any gun i'll let's check ensure that it's unloaded we are ready to proceed. Now on the bottom of the gun, you will see this pin. If you flip it over, you push that pin out. Now I suggest using a round to pull it through. Once you get it all the way out, the trigger group and magwell will, with a little bit of persuasion, come right out. Next, you will take the cap off of the lower tube where the pump handle rides. And then the barrel will slide right out. Next, you will pull out your bolt. And there's your bolt. And there's your handle. The sole purpose of this tube is just to guide the pump handle. There you have it. Now to put it back together. Reassemble the pump handle and pull rod. Now with this, there is a little spring-loaded uh, pin that sticks out of here. You want to make sure that you put the front on first, pull back, and sit it down flat like that. If you try to sit the back down first, it's going to sit up some like that. It's not going to be completely flat. So you want to put the front first, make sure it is flat. If not, it will not go back in properly. And slide that right back in the gun. Don't push it all the way back though. Keep it about halfway down the tube. And you take your barrel, feed that back in. Make sure your hole lines up with the end of the tube. Push the barrel in. Put your cap back on. And put your trigger group back in place. And there you have it. Now you should have no issues disassembling and reassembling your VR PF14. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any issues disassembling or reassembling, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below and I will be sure to help you guys out any way that I can. That's it for now, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching G-Shot Outdoors. I love you, and I'll catch you on the flip side. At least I don't have to hit a two-inch target this time. I've got a foot pit up. At least I don't have to hit a foot. Now we're gonna try 200 yards again. What kind of fish you think you'll catch in here? I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of fish. Yeah. I don't think I hit it. Really caught a little fish. Oh! Woo! That's epic, dude! Today we're going to do a little more pumpkin carving.
Maybe the movies are right. <laughs> All right. Nice. I need to go wash my hands.